Why is Argentina notorious for wiping out its black population over the last few centuries? Well, in 1778, when the Spanish Empire ruled Latin America, Argentina had 37% of its population black. But year after year, due to ethnic cleansing, Argentina's black population reduced drastically. And today, about 97% of Argentina's population is white and of European descent, while only 2% of the population is black. Out of its 45 million population, black people make only 0.15 million. Yes, black people are going extinct in Argentina, which is due to a systematic process at its peak. But how has that happened? Welcome to a new episode of Black Culture Diary, a channel where we talk about less known and hidden black history, culture, arts, and lost civilization. We scrutinize history here to bring the black culture back on the surface again. In this episode, we will disclose how Argentina erased its black population, taking it near the point of extinction in Argentina. Let's get started. The first question that should be answered is how black people came to Argentina and how their population changed. The history of Afro-Argentines traces back to the 16th century when black individuals, forcibly taken from Africa and bound by chains, were brought to Argentina as slaves. This occurred during the early years of Buenos Aires, the newly established capital city when trading was the primary commercial activity. Over time, the influx of traded slaves in and out of Buenos Aires grew significantly. By the 1600s, the slave trade industry had expanded to the point where approximately 70% of all trade in Buenos Aires involved the importation of slaves from Africa. Eventually, slave trading became an officially sanctioned practice in Argentina, persisting well into the 1800s. Although the slave trade in Argentina came to an end in 1813, slavery itself endured until 1853, when it was finally abolished. Considering the present-day appearance of Buenos Aires, with its remarkable architectural beauty, it is difficult to envision the city's past as a site marred by the grim reality of the black slave trade, which contributed to the growth of the black population and the colony as a whole. Data from the 1778 census, conducted by the Spanish colonial authorities in Argentina, revealed that around 30% of the population in Buenos Aires were black. By the time the slave trade was abolished in the 19th century, black individuals comprised one-third of the Argentine population, despite many being descendants of slaves and some still living in bondage. Despite this, how black people were erased from history in Argentina. After critically studying and analyzing black history, it becomes obvious that disappearance unfolded through different means, some accidental and others deliberate. By combining these methods, we can gain a comprehensive understanding of how Argentina erased its black people from its historical narrative. Number one, the Argentine Wars reduced black population. During the Argentine War of Independence, which commenced in 1810 and concluded in 1816 with Argentina gaining independence from Spain, it is plausible to consider that black men, who were still enslaved at the time, may have been coerced into the battlefield and suffered significant casualties. Initially, it was widely believed that these 18th century wars were responsible for the disappearance of the black population in Argentina, as many black men who constituted a significant portion of the black community lost their lives. While it is true that black lives were lost during the various conflicts in Argentina, it is an exaggeration to attribute the decline of the black population solely to these events. This is evident from the fact that even after slavery was abolished in 1853, black people still comprised about one-third of the population. Therefore, it is unlikely that the wars alone caused a drastic decrease in the black population after the 1800s. Such embellishments should be expected when historical accounts have been manipulated, rendering them untrustworthy. Regrettably, this distorted narrative is what some accept as the truth regarding the vanishing of the black population in Argentina. Unfortunately, very little information exists about the state of the black population in Buenos Aires and Argentina following the wars. It seems that the government paid little attention to the black community, deeming them insignificant and excluding them from the national census. This neglect may have been the initial act that led to later instances of racial profiling. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. Number two, population disproportion. 
As a consequence of the substantial loss of black lives during the wars, the number of black men, who constituted a significant portion of the black population, experienced a significant reduction. Consequently, women became the majority, leading to an imbalance in the gender ratio that was previously fairly equitable. This, along with other factors, contributed to the emergence of interracial marriages in Argentina. With a diminishing number of black men, black women were left with two options, marry Argentine men or compete for the few remaining African men. Some women chose the latter, although it can be debated whether this could truly be considered a choice. What is perplexing are the conclusions drawn from this situation. Certain individuals have concluded that black people sought a place where they could belong. Therefore, after slavery was abolished, many supposedly migrated from Argentina to nearby countries like Brazil, where black people were more accepted. This assumption appears to be based on the existence of some families that were entirely black. However, this theory is unsatisfactory and inadequate by itself to explain the complete disappearance of the black population from Argentina's history. Even if it were true, does migration out of a country necessarily imply erasure from the country's historical narrative? According to this interpretation, it seems to be the case. This perspective, however, falls short of providing a comprehensive understanding of the complex factors that contributed to the vanishing of the black population from Argentine history. The story of Afro-Argentines is a more nuanced and intricate one that deserves closer examination. Number three, whitening tactic. These combined approaches were enacted under the guise of whitening. Whitening can be described as a process of reshaping a race to align with whiteness. The underlying rationale behind this endeavor is the belief that white people enjoy certain societal privileges compared to individuals of other races. This ideology asserts that these privileges persist even when both races are subjected to the same social, economic, and political circumstances. Consequently, it implies the inferiority of black people. Furthermore, this ideology contends that black people should strive for development by gradually diluting their black ancestry through intermarriage with white individuals. The children born from such unions, possessing lighter skin, are believed to be closer to the white construct and standard. Initially, the term whitening in Argentina had little to do with physical color and instead focused on overall attitudes and cultural behaviors. However, in practice, both interpretations of whitening led to discriminatory behaviors exhibited by white Argentines toward those who did not possess whiteness. By overlooking the underlying issues of inequality and racial discrimination, the Argentine government embraced and acted upon this ideology. However regrettable their actions may be, it is evident today that Argentina has undergone a process of whitewashing, effectively erasing the presence and contributions of its black population. Due to the Argentine wars, the black male population declined and the intermarriage of white men with black women increased. A new generation emerged in Argentina, born through interracial marriages, and they were labeled as non-whites. This superficial term encapsulated the government's denial of racial diversity that existed within the country. If we were to rank individuals on a social scale, non-whites would be slightly higher than pure blacks, and whites would hold a higher position than both. Why in Argentina? Argentina was setting the stage for its whitening process, with interracial marriages serving as a metaphorical whitening cream. In the face of discrimination, one can understand why black individuals sought interracial marriages as a means to climb the social ladder. Given the lack of alternatives and the denial of rights, such as restricted access to education and healthcare, black individuals faced significant challenges. The Argentine government had cleverly designed a bait that anyone would bite. With the pursuit of whiteness, there came a loss of black identity. This loss extended beyond genetic makeup and skin color. It also affected the consciousness and awareness of one's heritage. The fact that 90% of people in Argentina today identify as white is evidence of widespread ignorance regarding their ancestry. Many Argentines are unable to discern whether they are truly white or descended from Afro-Argentine. Europe's immigration policies. One of the subtle strategies employed by the Argentine government to erase its history of blackness was the promotion of European immigration. This fact is supported by statistics that indicate two-thirds of Argentina's population can be traced back to European immigrants. In the 19th century, following a series of wars that had resulted in a reduced population, Argentina actively called for immigrants from Europe. This call was likely motivated by the need to replenish the country's population. In 1853, 
Argentina approved its current constitution, which had already abolished slavery. However, it was the 25th article of the constitution that officially facilitated unrestricted immigration into the country, without any barriers. The open-door policy for immigrants raises suspicions about Argentina's intentions. It is plausible that Argentina saw European immigration as a means to whitewash its history, as it was already leaning toward that direction. With a growing number of European immigrants settling in Argentina, the prospects of a wider country seemed more attainable. Consequently, the increasing presence of European immigrants served to dilute the growing black population, gradually giving rise to a new mixed-race demographic. However, in a country that prided itself deeply on its European heritage, racial profiling became inevitable. Argentina's European identity played a significant role in shaping its societal attitudes, including discriminatory, what do you think? Was black population reduction natural or a systematic process? Did Europe's immigration policies and whitening tactics play a role in making Argentina a notorious black people-free country? Let us know your opinion on how you see black people's future in Argentina. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.